In this tutorial we'll make an application using PyGTK. So the application we'll be using will show an image, uh, a label and you can also add some text. So the first thing we'll do is add a container and I'm just calling it fixed but you could just call it container or whatever you want and we obviously need to add the container to the screen we want to have some uh, label uh, so maybe we want to have a feedback application and add the label to the screen now if we run it we have the label right there uh, I also want to have a text field to to let people uh, type their opinion so add text field and we're going to put that so let's make it a little bit more readable we're creating the widgets and we're adding the widgets uh, setting the position uh, in here so this is positioning the widgets add to screen and this is where we create our widgets so a little bit more overview running the application will uh, have like a text box with a label above it now um, we can also add an image to uh, in the screen so author image is a GTK um, GTK image um, let's name it image author instead uh, and we can add that to the screen as well so maybe a little bit more uh, distance running it will have the image but it's not correctly positioned so move it along a little bit uh, sorry maybe we need to put it at 180 and 20 okay so now it's next to the to the image and maybe we want a smaller window size as well right so maybe 240 by 100 it's large enough so maybe a little bit too small let's say 320 by 200 so there you go and maybe we also want to have a button like an action button uh, appearing in the screen so you can say our button gtk dot button uh, answer or maybe okay uh, depends on what you want to have in your button and we position it like a little bit lower let's see that it's right below the box in there so maybe we need to put it at 80 to have like some uh, some better view and now we could type text and press but nothing happens but we have a basic screen so what you want to do is uh, to connect the button uh, to an event right so we can type uh, button connect uh, button pressed event and to our event name so that's a button a button click 
um, which is widgets um, event I think it was this Uh, so it doesn't know this event and we just look that up um, so the name oh, okay yeah we can simply type clicked so now if you press the button uh, it still complains but it actually works so this line can be removed running it again you'll see the click uh, function is called and now you'd want to actually show some data when you click the button so we can type um, we have our um, our widget here entry widget so let's make it a class uh, variable so that we can actually get the text and then we type uh, self dot uh, entry dot get text so now we can get data because it's a class widget running it tells us that it's not defined um, we made it a class variable so if you type our opinion, press OK, we can actually see the function gets the text in there.